Oh, Hillian half the screen is blank. Hillian half the screen is blank. What? What? Uh, for, for us, it's a uh, half a screen. Yeah. Okay, what the hell? I thought we fixed that problem. Um, oh, it's a different one for the half I can see. But all the holes I cannot oh, see I, ones. I, there we go. Works. Okay, that, that yeah. was that was because one of my menu, one of my other things that I have open around the game to keep an eye on things was poking over onto the other screen, which for some reason causes that issue. Okay, well, with, with that resolved, and I'm keeping Discord at the bottom here, so I can actually I won't see any <coughs> I won't see any other issues since that will go blank for me. So I might as well minimize that and return to the game. <coughs> Anyways, ahoy there everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Mason First Mate Drakir, at your service. And... I have a rank, I just know I'm involved with the firearms somehow. Um... Yeah, you, you're probably the, the quartermaster. <laughs> okay, and welcome back to Tomb Raider Anniversary, the third stream of this, where... Okay, the game seems to be flickering for me every now and then, but I'm not seeing that on the stream. So I'm not yeah, sure what the hell is going on. You have said some flickering uh, at times, but I haven't seen any flickering. Okay. Uh, yeah, last time we got to Greece and uh, <laughs> we went gold, quite literally, with King Midas over here. Yeah, I have to say this. But if you people ever meet King Midas, no. Or shake his hand, or give him yeah. high fives, or give him hugs. Yeah. Just... So you can probably give him a hug as long as he doesn't hug you back. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid the hands. Yeah. Okay. I think the game... It's, it's flashing my background behind the game every now and then, so what the hell is up with that? Hmm. Oh. Okay, no idea what you're talking about. No, it's not showing up on the stream, or at least when I see the flickers before me, I don't see them on, on in the corner of my eye on the stream, or on the OBS at least. Uh, anyways, yeah, we got this Greek, we got the first part of the Sion, or Sion, or... It, uh, <laughs> slip in between. For the sake and now we are hunting insane. the second. Yeah, for the sake of not going insane, I'm just going to refer to... To it as the scion. Yeah. The, the, the emphasis is a bit odd on it, I'll fully say. Hmm. Is it for scion means technically offspring? Yeah, that's. Uh... Hmm. Now, I know sire is typically used as a, a different word for parent. Yeah. I know there has been scenes like, uh, like an example for Warhammer 3, the Skyons of Mathlan, which I think basically means the children of Mathlan with a sea god. Damn it. Okay, I'm pretty sure uh, we need to jump to that platform. Hmm. Oh dear. But yeah, it's one of those where you hear often, but you, but when you start to hear what it might translate as you, actually start wonder. Do people know how to use the term or not? It is often... There's often terms like that that... Where a lot of people think they know what it means. And I think Ram is googling it. No. Hmm? Let me check. Okay. Uh, we went Reminds me... Uh, him? It, it, do you know what about uh, that people can crossbreed eagles and goose? <laughs> okay, I didn't also, know that. Sion you know is... Uh, one? No, is that the first... The, like, I look up Sion, and the first thing that comes up is... A Toyota car brand. So let's try oh. two... Okay. Planting Sion... Blah 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 blah. Bot bands, uh, grafting. Okay, so. You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna stick with the way I pronounce it. Okay. One, I'm pretty sure there's second, more to I'll get be, here. Uh, for a second. 
Am I just completely wasting everyone's time? There's obviously some places where we're supposed to be able to jump to, I'm pretty sure. Let's see that. Well, hmm. while Rom is doing that, I will uh, uh, finish what I was saying. A cross between a goose and an eagle is called Google. <laughs> okay. And yes, I'm pulling his legs. Uh, but I mean, we yeah, both know that uh, if they were able to cross me, they would probably call it Google. Okay, here we go. It's a bit hidden with how less obvious that indent is. Or not really indent, but how it's, <laughs> it sticks out a bit less. Uh, yeah, there's also, there's also the fact that... Uh, the, <laughs> I almost said Google. Geese and eagles are of different genii, I think, with animals. In the, yeah, yeah. Yes, certainly. Yeah. I don't. I forget the specific. Oh, come the hell on. I forget speci the exact specifics, but animals do need to be somewhat close on the genetic, you know, on the animal tree, so to speak, to be able to cross. Yeah. Like, the buffalo birds, yes. But they're all a bit too far in the spatial relation. Yeah. I, okay. I would not be surprised if you can cross with alligator with a crop. But that's a hesitant maybe. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, Mostly because of a habitat thing. Because yeah. one is salt water, the other is uh, normal water or sweet water. Sweet water, I think, or river water. But... You know what they say, nothing can really stop science! Yeah, and also, some crocodiles, at least Australian crocodiles, have this, uh, been able to thrive in both salt and uh, sweet water. Okay, now where are we supposed to it's, go with this? It's probably why they are so dangerous for... You might just be on the beach, not expecting a crocodile, and suddenly there's a crocodile biting through your raft, or something. I don't think we're supposed to swing that way, since we're bumping into the wall behind us. I think I have a memory. I think I saw a clip on YouTube long ago where this Australian saltwater crocodile hunted and killed a shark. <laughs> okay. And it was uh... a big one, but the croc was damn big. It was one of those. Those who had been probably been around for quite a while and that you don't mess with. This, this is a dead end. There, there, there is some way we're supposed to be able to get across, but I'm completely missing it, and I think. That, that rope is definitely not supposed... Okay, now I know. There's the freaking grooves in that thing. Oh, uh. God. Yeah, sometimes okay. you need to have an extra look. Yeah. Or several. Okay. And how's the hunt going there for you, uh, Rum? Yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, now I can see them. Yeah, I was too focused on the big thing in the center. Okay. Just turn a bit. And here we go. And got it. Okay, now we can continue on. Okay. To here. I can or... see why people would overlook this one for... It is easy to miss. Okay, a very appreciated checkpoint. Now, from here we can jump onto this thing, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Okay, and there. Yeah, the platforming in this game can be a bit annoying at times when it's not too clear when you or where you need to go. Uh, but then there's often complaints about games <clears throat> where it is too obvious where you need to go or, and stuff like that. Uh, most recently in games that characters will not shut the hell up with hints and solutions of how to fix things. I think I'm going to take those, then the, 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 this one third, I think you're missing here, that is kind of worse than the, the other two. That is. 
when the platform controls are extremely horrible and hard to pull off when it's way too much platforming. Yeah, that, that, that's controls, that's not level design. True, sometimes it does feel like they were, the level was not designed around the controls or vice versa. Yeah. Okay, I thought, <laughs> I thought that one was dead already. Too early. Okay, enough of this monkey business. We're going to charge, probably? No. Okay. Load that thing. And I'm guessing there's more. I think I saw a cat. Where was that? Okay, why is the combat music still going? Either way. Next path open. So we can't jump that. But we can jump into here. Wait, did... Okay, I think Laura was about to go st screaming. <laughs> I mistook the oxygen bar for her health bar for a moment. I thought, wait, we bumped our heads enough to get a little bit of damage. But no, that was just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the screaming audio starting up. <laughs> hmm. I think my... I think my voice is a bit off today, but it might just be more because my throat is being a bit raspy. Hmm. Well, we should be able to fix that. Oh, hello. This looks a lot different. Okay, what does this do? I'm pretty sure I remember what is supposed to be going on here. But it's not going on yet. Or is that for the way back or something? And I see something with... Oh, oh speaking of alligators and crocodiles... Uh, there's one. I'm just... I'm just to make a, a joke about fighting crocodiles here, but... Well... Okay, I don't think that's actually hitting it. Which is a nice little thing that water acts as defense to things on the water. Yeah, like, you can shoot something underwater, probably is... If you want to shoot something underwater, it needs to be very close to the water surface. Yeah, the Mythbusters did an episode on that. Well, not an episode, but they had a bit of an episode on that. Yeah. Uh, some things would have. still punch down quick, uh, quite low. But, yeah, you'd be better off with, an air, uh, with a bow and arrow trying to kill things underwater, since that actually slices through the water. Yeah. Especially also, some shots on that may hit you underwater, in front of a gun or such. You may possibly survive due to... Yeah, it... It can reduce the impact quite a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most bullets actually wouldn't leave more than bruises or anything. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing some shots still landed? And there it goes. Oh, you were able to shoot before he was a bit more... ...not deep in the water anymore? And I think it... I don't think it would have that little health. But... Either way. I think one of the main ways of identifying... Uh, or, ...or differentiating a crocodile from an alligator is... I think alligators are supposed to have much more narrow snouts or something. No, no. Uh... Alligators are more broader and yeah, a bit more broader snout. Hmm. Well, crocodile a bit more longer and narrower. Okay. And I am very obviously missing something here, I think. Or do we just need to stand on this thing longer? Hmm. Is there also anything both... in the water? Both prefer fresh water, but there are some crocs that can salt as well. Okay. However, alligators prefer areas more uh, swampy. Like uh, the Everglades and such. While a crocodile is fully happy to be ah. in the water or 
just running across um, some sand dunes. And, yeah, I think both are deceptively uh, swift on land. Oh yeah, like they, they don't talk about this in documentaries. Some of they should. Like, if you think you're safe on land after they try, try to bite you, no, you're not. Yeah, dude. If you're lucky, they're, they're damn thinking, you're out of water and start... Uh, this is the actual turn they had they have for this. Galloping after you. <laughs> yeah. As silly as it looks, it's still like multiple hundred uh, pounds of uh, predator coming at you. Silly? That's not terrifying, but it looks more like they... They look more like they, you're trying to do more of a... Cheetah movement. They, they, they look a surprisingly feline movement to them when they start running. I'm not sure if I'd I don't call know. it feline myself, but yeah, don't underestimate the thick <laughs> scaled tank. Yeah. And here's the terrifying thing they had a luckily now extinct relative called Caprosuchus, which I think you may remember. From Ark? Yep. It, it may translate to Bullcrook, but it may have tusks. However, it was built like a feline. That damn thing was more adept to be in water, but even more adept to runs on land. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, can I still jump back to that? Yep. Though so I think we're going to need to. Didn't even think we could grab onto this. However, uh, one thing I'm sure is I don't remember for how long a crocodile and alligator can run for. I don't know if it's just a short distance up, but if they're still galloping after you, that's probably a reason why they think they'll be able to catch you. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need to activate whatever mechanism is going to activate all of these traps because they're very clearly traps. Oh dear. Uh, but I'm just... Uh, are, are you alright over that room, by the way? Uh, Ram, you still with us? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, <laughs> you were just very quiet. Yeah, sorry. A bit distracted. Okay, no problem with that. Uh, do you find anything about the sky on? Yeah, it's multiple things, and it was also a Toyota car brand at one point. Okay. Oh dear. I was half expecting your search to start with the first entry being from this game. Actually, Wikipedia does say, does mention that the about the. Sky on, the Scion being, Scion, whatever the fuck it's pronounced, being from Tomb Raider, so at that point I just said screw it. Oh dear. I know I, know I have heard people talk about this true uh, translation, but I don't remember which videos they were. I think we're missing, either the game is glitched to not have the traps activate or anything, or we're missing something. Either way, we got our lead bar, so we can get out of here. The Go to my <laughs> anti and, and swap the thingy with the thingy. Now, we've got the gold bar, and there's no gate here. And I very much presume that there's not going to be a gate deeper in to close us in. Typically, that sort of stuff would be done at the start of a hallway. Oh, I hate my brain right now. Okay, should I even ask? As the, as the gorilla it suddenly appeared, this song, Hey Harambe, the party gorilla started to play in my brain. Okay, don't know. I don't know if I actually know that one. So can you link that? <laughs> to I, this I, I linked you to it in the past. I have linked to you the, the last year actually. Okay, but I can. 
the title of it is Harambe the Pirate Gorilla. It will be hard to miss it on YouTube. Okay. That is three total, I think. Or is that the fourth? Let's see. Put one here. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, actually, that this is the third. I, we were missing... Uh, yeah, we... Last time we had put in one more, but we... Uh, we didn't get a... Oh, we're... Hmm. Okay, so my memory is wrong then. We are missing another... Hmm. I think it... it oh, wait. You save, then you put it in, then you exit the game. And yeah, you start to use the checkpoint. Because it, it didn't give one again. There is still another gate over that way. But... Um... Is there anything in sight as to open that? Is there a lever up there? I can't see from this angle. There's a lever up there. Okay, and... Oh. We could have gone... A oh, no. We can... Can we get... A can we get up to that from here? This is a little bit raised. So we can get up here. And okay, there we go. My <laughs> I was thinking we would have to go all the way around again. I thought you were to claim the vines. I don't think Laura really does that in any of this era's games. What? Hmm? Hmm? What thing? Uh, clipping vines. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I know she climbs around stuff like that in the most recent trilogy, I believe. It has been a bit again since I've played those, not as long as I last played this game. Uh, hmm. We'll have to see if we get there eventually. But I believe in this one the mechanics mostly just go with ledges and such, and hello. What the heck? Yeah, that's going to be a puzzle of jumping around between things and hello. Yep. Drag it, Laura. There we go. Yeah, the physics seems to be a bit iffy with the boxes every now and then that Laura will let go at the slightest bump. And let me guess, it closes too soon. But no, we... We couldn't get that thing up here anyways. Hmm. Wasn't really a need to have that box in place before it, but oh well. No. With this, all of these are rising. And those are spears laid into them. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Oh, come on! What happened? And why is it... Oh! Now there's a soft time limit with the pillars. Right. With spear traps. Okay. Very obviously Holy we can't stand on those. We can't jump onto them. But I can't... I think we can uh, shimmy along the ledge of it. Just need to see where to go from where. Okay, this one here, that one there, onto that uh, <coughs> slide, jump to that platform there, that one there, go across, and that way. Okay. Nope, Laura. Go. Oh, that, that ledge is damaged. Okay. Okay. Immediately jump and grab this one. Yeah, they start retreating shortly after you grab on. Oh, damaged, so this way. That one's going down faster. Who designed this? Nope. Okay. Someone watched one too many. I don't know. Old. Okay, that one was going down a lot earlier. 
Is there anything? <laughs> oh, oh there, there's a relic over there. You can tell by the shine. Or relic, artifact, one of the two. Either way, it's gonna go not 100% it? needed for us. We could give this another try to see if we can get to that. But let's actually do that. Try and speedrun this thing a bit. Might have something you want. Yeah, there. I'm guess. I'm. I don't remember specifically, but I'm guessing that there are unlocks uh, behind getting a certain amount of artifacts or getting 100% of them or something. So the moment that that thing stops rising, we go. You know, we could just go immediately. Okay. We're a bit faster with this. Keeping an eye on the thing as to see when it goes down. What with... Okay, what, what was with that camera angle? How you survive? It was more... <laughs> we were really lucky there. Just poke the absolute edge of the things. So let's heal up a bit. And try this again. Yeah, my guess is at the moment that we touch that one, that, that one also starts going down. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to waste too many tries on this. Just this one. And if we fail, then we'll just move on. Like, the extra stuff is nice and all, but it's not required. Okay. That way. And it's going down. It, Laura. Okay, that one was my fault. Yeah, and I saw something in this room. Mm -hmm. That looks like you can pull down with the rope thing. Uh, with the grapple? Oh, there. Yeah. Okay, what is that about? That's very obviously for me to miss. Wait, what? Uh, hold on. Let's take a look, because it's using those two pillars that aren't needed to get across, I'm presuming. Hmm. And yes, I am going to <laughs> keep showing off with that at every turn, since we don't have an actual sprint button, I believe. Actually, do we have a sprint button? Let's see, uh... It looks like we can't even check the <laughs> keybinds, though. Uh, okay, that one is broken. Okay, there is... Wait a minute. If that's the glow of an artifact, or... Then I'm guessing that is a relic over there, since it glows a lot... It seems to glow a lot more. Let's give that one one more try. See if it actually is a relic. Because if there are to be unlocks behind things, then the relics are probably more important on that. Wait, no clicking sounds this time? Oh, there we go. And yeah, then we just jump from here to there. Okay, this time without the silly little lineup. There. And now up. And too late. Yep, I might have jumped. I probably jumped too early. But oh well, let's just move on. That probably is the relic of this level, but I don't want to waste like 15 minutes trying to get to it. Hmm. Yeah, heard you. Oh 
you. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay, did I miss there? Okay, could either of you tell if I miss there or <laughs> did it actually survive the shot? I'm unsure. Okay. I'll have to look that up in the video afterwards. I, it's a bit late to hit the clip button for it now, I think. Either way, gateway's open. And, yeah, <laughs> done. But two relics, okay. So there was something else, somewhere else <laughs> as well. Redundant sentence is redundant. Okay then. Let's see, this way. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm a bit dry on things to talk about today, I think, and there. I'm trying to Quickly. fit. Since I've got nothing better to do, um, I got this weird XCOM 2 bug. Okay. Where, okay. So, XCOM 2 has, like, when you're creating, like, a character for a character pool and whatnot, you basically have an option to set up an attitude, basically, you know, how. Uh, yeah. Stands and stuff like that, and how they sound. Uh, and the Tactical Legacy Pack added a few extra of these. No, but I'm not entirely sure which. But I think there's a bug in which one of the mods, of which I have a lot, but I, I don't know which, has makes it so that if you select any of the ta any of the ones the tactical legacy pack added then for some reason your character just gets down on a crouch and just there's forward okay <laughs> so uh i believe i think it needs to be moved back a bit back uh, that sounds a bit like those uh, stereotypical uh, Eastern Europe thug like you know, stances. But thing is. Wait, what? Okay, try getting. Okay, try moving it closer so that you don't have to jump it. There's a mouse still around here somewhere. Or a rat, which it's in seeing, <laughs> looking at the size. It's an RUS. But anyways, uh, I have no idea which mod causes the bug because I tried looking it up and I saw that it was one that I don't have and another one that said they did have. I do have, but I tried disabling that, but it did nothing. Huh. Uh, wait. How many mods do you have again? If an XCOM 2, I have... Uh, it's Frenchy. Right over fucking there. Yeah, somewhere. Okay, this place I remember quite vividly because this was one of the first places that I... Uh, no. There are a few places that I definitely remember watching my father play. One was the very start of the game. And the second uh, was this area. 758. Holy... Yeah. And the thing Not is, too I don't know. Yeah, the, and those are the active ones. Those are only the active ones. But the thing is, I don't know which bug, which one it is. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of ones to look through to find the one bug. It's like, okay, so I remove this one, start the game. That doesn't shit. Okay, I quit, reinstall it, remove the next one. 
that doesn't fix the glitch. And I don't really want to spend an entire day just doing this shit, so I just have this kind of looking for... Okay, which ones could cause it? And I only found two. And, and one I don't have, like I said, and the other one when I tried disabling it, More did bastards. nothing. Okay. <laughs> they actually move away when we're not in the water, so we can't shoot them. Okay. Uh, They're across. Let's swap to this thing. Oh, no, not there. Out. And that bug that Robin talked about, it sounds almost concerning. Now, if it's just an animation glitch, there's not too much to it. Uh, yeah, this place is uh, quite open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to. I want to deal with the stupid handbags to not have to risk them under here. But since they keep moving back, there's well, not really a choice. Okay, is there anything on this side of interest? Very obviously, we're going to be m messing with the water level since there's a lot of acrobatic stuff here. Are they ignoring you? I think I'm too far away at the moment. And yeah, we don't have a spear gun or anything, so we'll get and we'll sort of have to deal with them at the moment. And not that one. There we go, that's one less. And <laughs> it's just staring at it up at us like a, a pool float that sunk down to the bottom. Well, that's one evil f pool float. Sort of got to wonder how people came up with the idea to make pool floats in the shape of crocodiles in the first place. Wait, there's an another one? Okay. Somebody wanted to get over their fear or they thought, hey, crocodiles are cool. If fear or thought it would be funny. And we all know that people uh, like the... Oh, one. Okay. That was a, I think we all know that humanity already have a love to fantasize about riding unique animals. Let me try one specific mod. If it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. If it doesn't work, be it just right immediately back. sank like a brick. All right. Okay, good luck, Ron, whilst we go look for where the hell to go with this, actually. Let's see. And immediately it turns... Actually, this one sticks around. Okay. You've accepted your fate. I think he's too far Next away. One. It's red, so it is tight. It should be hitting. I think the button, the bullets are connecting. Let's give it one full clip of this. Okay, yeah. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I even <laughs> need to say it? What the? <laughs> Okay, he's been clipping this. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, Ram is missing out on this. It's a, it's a crocodile Beyblade. Oh, good God! <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I need to calm down. Um, I don't know. The whole thing takes a while to load. It's just a uh, how. You wanna know what's really funny? You shouldn't be able to actually shoot it through the water. Yeah, yeah. because of what he mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> and it's yeah. Al already taunted us by spinning around like a helicopter. Yeah, but yeah. what I mean is like, surface tension would actually prevent the bullets from going too deep and would actually break them up. Yeah, s similar to like uh, how landing on water at um, terminal velocity is like falling onto concrete 
uh, bullets, well, <laughs> they don't fare too much better. And, uh, Mythbusters actually did an episode on that. Oh, yeah. You actually talked about it earlier. <laughs> yes. And I think I actually made several. Yeah, they had to read. They redid a bunch of myths because people either didn't buy it or offered different takes on it or something. Okay, we are a lot less, you know, a lot slower like this. And uh, let's see this now. Oh. Uh, so is it, it seems. Okay, seriously, what do we need to do here? I only show there's a crocodile or alligator, but that's now doesn't look right for either. Just in time. Hmm. Actually, can we lower the water again? Probably should have tested that out. Or do we actively need to be... Yep. Okay, there we go. <coughs> okay. Okay, so they fully expected you to, well, raise the water, pull around a bit to see what you could and couldn't do, and then come back to <clears throat> to lower it again. Let's see, that very obviously is going to lead to a lot of pain if we swing from that. So there is nothing below it to catch onto, so we can't, it's not advised to drop off of it either. There's... Sorry. Oh, Gesundheit. Bless you. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, we can get up from there, but there is no easy way to reach that from here. Ow. Okay, and there's our spinning pool float. I sort of wonder if it behaved like that due to you calling it a pool float. Yeah, but the What? Okay, what I was expecting. I was expecting Laura to jump upwards to a ledge, but apparently not. And I think that also means that the crocs are alive again. I can see at least one in there. Well, you yeah. revived from the checkpoint, so you probably want to have a. Uh, the one you killed is probably still dead. Yeah, we'll have. Actually, yeah, we did get a checkpoint. And our pool noodle is still just staring us down. Actually, it's not staring anymore. It's something else has caught its interest. <laughs> Let's see. I remember this place being a bit tricky. Oh. But now we can reach this thing. Is that going to lower the water even further, or is, is it going to bring it up? Okay. Well, I guess we can get to see it gallop. If it doesn't decide to spin at us again. Hey, Hillian, dumb question. Hillian, Drick here, dumb question. Hmm? Does either one of you have the 22nd or the 23rd off or something like that? Uh, for what specifically? Uh, I saw that message pop up. Uh, it's for the Borderlands thing. Okay. Uh, I should have basically every day off except for maybe... Oops. Except for maybe on Fridays. Uh, it's gotten it's it's gotten itself stuck in there. <laughs> okay, it was going to charge, but very obviously not anymore. And okay. myself, but I'm free every day basically. It's it's kind of rare I get busy. Well, That's... besides being busy with the stream. Okay, we need to release, have that be released, but then we need to raise up the water first. Let's deal with you before you become an actual issue. Uh, let's see, that's how we get out. Actually, node. Hmm. It's 
to sleep. Okay, how do we get out of this? We... Oh, that's... Okay. And... That's, that effect actually should be gone since there's no water here at the moment, but oh well. Yeah, and I... I think I saw something concerning. Mm -hmm. I think I saw the stone carving of uh, a gorgon's head. Maybe even Medusa. Uh, let's see. I think we've been swinging from the rings held by those heads for a bit now, but yeah, could be Medusa. I, I of course know what is coming up ahead, but I'm not going to give actual details on that. Let's see. Okay, then we just slide and jump. Okay. So we know that we need a heavy box here, one that doesn't float. And we know that there's a box up there. That is heavy enough is the question. Uh, I'm going to raise the water a bit here so we have somewhere safe to jump down to. <laughs> that we don't have to risk lower breaking her neck coming down in the well the fast way. Or landing inside a very handy poo noodle, as you call them. Yeah. That's oops. You? Hmm. Question is, how are we going to get to the box at the moment? Since we, it seems that we can only raise the water. Oh, I see here. Okay, we need to jump to the side. Okay, get as much height and go. Okay, this is probably how we need to get there. Uh, but yeah. Uh, okay, we can't go this way because the box is blocking us. We need to get behind that to, well, get it to work. To get over there. I <laughs> pressed the wrong button. Uh, oh dear. But yeah, uh, Borderlands 22nd or 23rd. Let's see, it is the 18th now? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Saturday. Actually, that would be plus seven. Um, I have a calendar right behind me, if you want me to check. Today. I think both days should be good. Saturday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday are the 22nd and the 23rd, respectively. Yeah, so I, I should be good on both days. Wrong button again. But yeah, that'll be... Either of those days will be when the next... Uh, next can we jump on to... Climb onto this thing? Either of those days is when the next Borderlands stream is going to be then. Let's see. I'll, let's try for a, this 20 seconds so that if something does come up on the 23rd... That, uh... Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm just going to have to jump that and risk it. So, yeah, so in case something does come up to get in the way, if we have if we try on the 22nd, then at least we can have the 23rd as a backup. What are we even trying to grab there? Hmm. Good question. Yes, sir. I, oh, okay. I completely missed the ring there. <laughs> I was just. I was just looking as why the hell is that thing there if there's nothing to jump to. But yeah, that explains that. Then we go to here. Get some more ammo. Mini SMG ammo to be exact. And then this way. Okay. So where is this going to lead except for more levitation? Okay, another ring. Okay, now we're on the other side. Okay, this is going to put us on the other end of the box. 
So we can get rid of that thing. Uh, open up a shorter way in up here. One shotgun ammo. Okay. Now we just give you a push. And And the box survived somehow. I think the box actually we need two boxes to open things up down there. So yeah, let's just go get the other one. Nothing in here. Okay, did I just jump too early? You did something. Okay. Take it two. It somehow made her land looking oh. oddly comfortable. Okay, that that's a bit of a mean one to to have us jump from a little ledge like that. They they could have pushed those things back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but oh well. Oh dear. So, box number two. Just shove that thing off. Also, why does the box sound like it's grinding stone on stone? Yeah, <laughs> it did earlier with some wooden box, and I, I found it very weird. Oh well. <laughs> <coughs> There. Because we'd be taking damage if we just drop down. Okay. Here you are. Okay. It, it, this game still came out in the zeros where, yeah, there were still a <laughs> often bits of junk, uh, not junk, jank and such. Okay. And I'm a bit surprised that it's actually heavy enough to sink, seeing as it looks to be made out of wood. Or maybe it is stone? Uh, it probably is wood, but... Uh, it could have something in it. Yeah. Okay. Also, yes, we can go straight from a, a swan dive into that. Uh, also, the box might not be... Properly sealed. It could be, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm here. I'm thinking the corners look a bit more metal. Or is that just me? I so. Hmm. No, it seems to have metal on it. Like the top it, it, has, it has metal. <laughs> Nails, yes, but it looks otherwise very wooden. Oh well. They just went a little bit overboard with the nails. Yeah, let's just go with it with containing cargo of some sort or just stones to weigh it down. Okay. We lower the water again. And then we can free the raft. So where do we need to put that thing to actually go across? Or actually, we I believe we can just climb onto the raft. So we just need to have it near the exit. And uh, yeah, <laughs> more physics wonkiness. Okay. Actually, hmm. don't question. Uh, actually, hang on. Actually. Question myself. Okay. Where the hell did I put? No, no, no. I just wanna. No, we have another. Okay. You don't. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I was gonna say something like, "Hey, you wouldn't happen to have like this three or four like theme or whatever, or like." A different co-op experience. Hmm. But then I remembered. Oh wait, no, I'm friends with you on Steam, so I can see which games we happen to actually, you know, share because that's an option. Yep. And, you know, so, you know, cool. Anyways. Yep. Uh, yeah. What what yep. game were you thinking about? Mm, it was a uh, uh, Fear Three. Okay. 
I, I never I never actually finished Fear One because the freaking ninjas just startled me constantly. <laughs> they were worse than you the game's actual it's... jump stairs. You know the you know the reason it's called that is because it's a military unit that's actually that's called first encounter assault recon, right? Yeah. I like that game. You know the game where you can go into slow motion and kill hundred and kill nearly an entire battalion of clone soldiers, yep. and then get haunted by uh, Sadako's American cousin Alma. <laughs> Yeah, that for I, hmm, I don't know if it still measures up today, but that for a long time, at the very least, that game was considered to have like the best uh, game AI, and it was actually made mostly by accident. Yeah, it was a video, and like some pe people said the AI is very smart, if not too smart. That actually became a bit of a struggle. The Okay, so the way the AI works is that it's base is that it is oddly simple in that they have a they have like goals set up. How these goals wind up interacting with each other results in the AI acting a lot smarter than it should be. So let's say they need to get to the player so they can take him down. So they can go through one direction, another direction, or another direction and can accidentally interact with each other, resulting in something akin to a fire team actually fighting you as a team, when in reality the AI doesn't quite recognize the other members of it. Yeah. yeah. I think I heard that they, there was several occasions where the AI killed each other by accident. Yeah, that actually happened because sometimes, say, you shoot a guy in slow motion and they still fire their gun in slow motion and that... And it's not like just a visual thing. They, like, if there's, say, an explosive or something like that and while they're firing, they hit that, that actually goes off. Yeah, so you can actually shoot grenades out of the, screen, out of the air and such. Yep. Oh, gods. I, I don't remember watching a review of it, and I'm a bit unsure of the game. Like, the funny thing is, is that after a while you get just used to the whole jump scare thing, like, oh, hi, Alma, how you doing? It's yeah. the more action gameplay that a lot of people go back to fear for. Yeah, yeah. I think the action game well, looked very well. well. But the story itself felt rather... Uh, it's shotgun shells. We'll and all right, just... Ew? You, can you not grab the shells? Yeah, because we were full on them. Oh. Okay. Now that we're here yeah. with this thing, we can grab... Yeah, uh, we can grab I it, can, pull it closer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I could quote uh, Civi 11's video on fear, basically. Like, oh. after... After basically, like, all the shit they do to Armachem does to Alma, just like, they have like the guy from Aliens representing Wayland Yutani going, Jesus, dude, like, have a little class, what the fuck? And we, Oops. and if you've watched any Aliens movie, you know what the fuck Wayland Yutani is about, so yeah. that joke is like, wow, we're, we're, but Jesus. Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm surprised we all. I think I introduced Helium to CV11. For, I think it was pretty sure there was CV11 I watched to learn about fear. I don't actually know uh, how I ran across him at first. Yeah, I, I, I have that a lot. Like, I forget. In, hmm? I, I remember telling you about him and also if you ever heard it. CV11, you said you haven't. And I, I told you about some video. <laughs> that was probably you. A few months later, yeah. I saw you sort of linking him in the Discord. <laughs> yeah. I think I stumbled into him when I was like, you know, looking up like random reviews of whatever. And, you know, I enjoyed it. I, I, I was looking up uh, 
about the Quake and other old games, I just accidentally found him and found him very entertaining. Yeah. Uh, he recently did a video on Quake 4, finally, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where he basically... Where the best way you can say is that Quake 4 is competent enough to be good, but not exactly memorable. Yeah. Like, the one memorable part of it is the is when you get strongified. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh oh, hey, I know this place. Wait, what? Uh, I don't think you have to worry off. about these. Since that... these are statues. Wait. Hold on, let's take a look at this. I see something weird here. Something's wrong. Is it Lara being wet? Uh, Rom. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. No, I mean, she's literally wet. She just swam. She just, like, Run. got out of the... <laughs> Don't make me get the water can and spray you. This is Something we're missing. Everdogs, yes. too. <laughs> and uh, we he actually still need to centaurs? use this. Probably is they give centaurs the wrong head. Let's see, there's an alcove here. It's very obviously a... A lever or something hidden around to open it up. Okay, I've never seen anyone butcher a depiction of a centaur so badly. Like, off man, horse, horse, yes. But why get a horse head? That. That's not how they were supposed to be. Okay, here we go. How you were supposed to reach this normally? I don't know, but then again, this is a tomb. It's not, it's not supposed to open back up. Actually, with most of these ancient tombs, it would it'd make more sense to just pour whatever equivalent of concrete they have at the time all over the place and just call it a day. You know, okay, we have this thing we want nobody to find. What do we do? We set up traps. We set up openings. Now nah, we just blow up the entrance with like our equivalent of like explosives and just, you know, bury the whole thing in concrete and burn the maps. Forget the whole thing that ever happened. Oh dear. There's hey, a the second, second part half of the fidget spinner. <laughs> there. Okay. I do like uh, Here oh. lies the god king Tihokan, one of the triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the skill, leader of the chosen hey. after the great betrayal caused Atlantis to be lost beneath the waves. Yours are going to cost you both pieces at the Skion. That's not a price I'm prepared to pay. Don't be absurd. No job is worth dying for. Yes, it is. So you lied, Helian. You said these two did not come alive. I said there were statues. Also, that if you. They uh, still were too long. They uh, they free, they kill you. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, these, the, these are not centos. These are something else. Okay, come on, why don't you try your little trick? Because I'm pretty sure there is something we can 
try with that out. Okay, gotta pay attention to both of these fuckers. God damn it. Which, which button was it again? I'm massing all of the frick. Oh, side to side. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can trick them into petrifying each other. I think that's the idea behind the battle. Okay, just roll underneath one of them. Okay, yep. I thought I filled the rage bar again there, but apparently not. Okay, it is awkward to getting them to break that. Go. Oh, hello. Wait, take... No, wait. Use the rope. Yeah. I only noticed it just a second delay there. And we're out of 50 minute caliber. Again, these things are not taking damage. Okay, yeah, we need to... We need to enrage them. Oh. There we go. Let me stun them. And join. There we go. Okay, fill it up again. And there we go. <laughs> now we can stone the horse. And actually deal a good amount of damage to it. Any damage at all, it seems. Come on. Okay. Give me that. Okay, now we have two of the shields, and now they should only try to petrify us when we enrage them. Okay. Can we get both? No. Okay, I, I was half expecting to be able to petrify one of them, in, but only, only to get petrified by the other. Yep. Wait, that... He okay. did get petrified! I think this is more of a different kind of petrification. There we go. Almost killed it. I... Oop. I think this one is just more <laughs> petrified by game. There we go, almost done with both of them. No time for spinning. Load this thing because I want to finish them with that. And bye bye. And that's Greece for you. What 
have you to say for yourself? Yeah, <laughs> that was Laura getting high off of uh, ancient tech. And this is why you don't want to be involved with ancient bullshit. Well, one of the many reasons, really. Yep. I um, now. Can I think? I think we're in Egypt now. At the very least, we're in Africa, I believe. Yeah, either uh, Egypt or Nubia. Let's see, I don't want to just oh, dive wait. down and break Laura's neck. Oh, bloody, I forgot. Is Nubia still a country or does it have another name now? And I don't actually know. For it was, it, I know it was a, con a country next yeah. to Egypt. Okay, that, on the that east looked side. deeper than it was. <laughs> Like, Nubia. Africa has so many countries, I have no idea of how many there actually are. Yeah, the only th some countries I can know directly where they are, but others I can sometimes struggle with. Nubia is a region along the Nile River and Cops encompassing the area between the first carrack of the Nile, just short of the south of Aswan in southern Egypt and the confluence of the Blue and White Niles, which are in Khartoum in Central Sudan. Okay. Okay, so it's a... It's more, more of a province. region than a nation now. It's a region, but... Okay, For, I remember in history, at least in history, there were people called Nubians. We were apparently very good archers. There we go. And I'm reminded of a comedy where a guy goes, "What's a Nubian?" and the and the person talking goes, "Shut the fuck up." Okay. Like a uh, '90s, I think, comedy. I think. You're, yeah, no, you should be able to pull it off. Okay, I think it might have physics itself in stuck. Uh, let's try and get a more straight and higher. Pulling it points. Actually, there's a thing in there. Yeah, it's shotgun shells, and we're full on those okay. again. Uh, okay, I think. I think it's gotten itself completely wedged or something. Or am I just pulling from the wrong angle? That can also be a thing with these every now and then. Uh, let's see. At least we can grab onto here. And let's see. Doesn't look like we'll have a better vantage point anywhere up here. So we're you know, we're not getting back to the entrance. Yep. Too early. You failed. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe it just needs to get bumped. Be a really shitty uh, archaeologist or tomb raider because my first option, whenever seeing a block something, would always be how many explosives do we have? <laughs> Bro, uh, you're the worst one of the archaeologists in this sounds like. Yeah, that, that's. Uh... That's the idea that people had when they were digging out Troy. And by doing that, they destroyed multiple levels of the city because it was more a thing built. Uh, Troy is typically thought of as a singular city, but apparently it was actually built uh, mo <laughs> in multiple layers of, of cities on top of the ruins of the previous one. And so yeah, they were bombing their way down to the lowest. So, oh. wait, 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 so Troy was was the 
ancient Greece version of that joke from Monty Python and the Holy Grail? <laughs> oh no! Yep. Okay, let's do every little reload. I think it got uh -oh. just stuck. Which is a risk with uh, physics engines. Oh dear. Can we hook it I from here? I gotta look it up so I can remember this specific as a joke, but I... I remember yeah, the yoke. Here. I actually remember the yoke. First, I beat my corso. Then it sunk to the swamp. I beat a single corso. Yeah. Also sunk to the swamp. But a third corso. Stayed up. Probably was there was not much sunken corso so you could have some foundation on it. For city. Right. Which, think, which, uh, fell, which crumbled. So we built a second city. Which also crumbled. And then we built a third city, which also crumbled. But the fourth city shall remain and cube, you know, the sacking of Troy and how apparently we accidentally blew it up right when we found it. Yeah. yeah. That's not the first time. I think actually it has been done, been done to some pyramids. And yeah, I think they, due to much damage, it actually became legal. For all colleagues to use dynamite to open tombs. Le illegal. Illegal. Yeah, because I was confused because you said legal. Oops, uh, I guess I cut off me. I said illegal. Oh, okay. An illegal eagle. Okay. Oh, was that a joke to its legal eagle team? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, for you know, with everything that's going on, that poor bastard just like mainlining the ever clear. Like, god damn it! Wait, what? Uh, Alcohol. It's a, it, it's a joke we've been making in the uh, in the gate server about the many many stupid things President Number Forty Five has done, continues to do, and will forever do, and it. That while the dude has basically gone on record saying, yeah, I'm done with this guy, with the amount of stupid shit he's done, we've all joked. Well, he could run his entire career oh, for the yeah. rest of his life. Uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, I like League of Eagle for do watch him sometimes, but I can't see his frustration over certain uh, someone. Yeah. Like, he wants to be done with it, but... It's the like... guy... <laughs> yeah. One. Yeah, it's like... You want you you want this guy to just be done, to just be done and over with. And how do you keep digging? You've hit rock bottom. Hey, isn't uh -oh. that one of those things we found in Peru? Yeah. My <sighs> lizards. Uh. Here we go, lizards. Oh, wait, no, yeah. No, I don't think they're lizards. They are what? definitely deadly, though. I don't know. Do wait. They, look they have some... reptilian similarities, but also some... Wait. I swear to God, they look more like... Sabertooths? Humanoid, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, Humanoid but... Humanoid Sabertooths. There, there is some... Oh no, I said, either they are some kind of mummified saber tube hybrid or something older that also had saber teeth but also in a way related to us. A Gorgon, uh, Gorgon Opsid. Even be oh, you know what it is? I don't know what it is, I just realized. Yeah, no. Humanity is just weird enough that that could just be a thing. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I believe one of our earliest ancestors that could be tracked back up past the apes for some sort of lizard fish or oh, something. Uh, uh, Gordon Opsid is a. I think they call it stem mammal now. Basically, a reptile that evolved to become mammal. Let's see. But they were known to be basically. Looking like lizards with saber teeth as on fur. And they could get quite large. Okay, and, and this makes it very clear where we are now, Egypt. 
This is the Eye of Horus. This is the Ankh. This is just seems to look random tablets, and this one seems random tablet as well. Let's see. How are we going to get into this thing? Well, uh, oh no. Okay. I read this meme. Hang on a second. Uh, you're gonna read a meme. Uh, All right, you sure, go on. That uh, hex posted. Okay, so. Mario and Bowser's rivalry after like 30 years exists, exists mostly to uphold the status quo, instantly dissipates whenever the situation calls for it. Peach's kidnappings usually probably follow a very specific schedule, and after every single one, they'll just copy together. Luigi is unironically Junior's favorite babysitter. Sonic and Eggman's liver rivalry after 30 years. If you so much as breathe in my direction, I am literally going to kill you with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah. There's more. Like... Link and Ganondorf's life rivalry. 30 years. We are inexorably tied together by fate and ideology. For each other's opposite in the worst and most poetic way possible. We are enemies. We are brothers. We will destroy each other and the world around us over and over again. Samus and Ridley's rivalry. My God, it's Samus Aaron with the seal chair. <laughs> yeah, because she will keep murdering that bastard no matter how meet he returns from the dead. Uh, to be oh, fair, I, I, he ate her fucking parents. Yeah, that that, that is grim. Uh, and now you open this wind's heart. Technically. Well, I should have been able to just climb up there and climb in, but oh well. She, she's a professional. She's going to open a damn door without explosives. Yeah. Oh, dear gods. And there we have Anubis. Sure. Nade launcher, and I think Tomb Raider 3, though. I think so, yeah. We are not getting you a grenade launcher for Christmas. <laughs> uh, but the flamethrower is still on the menu. Oh, yeah, for good, you eat, you eat flamethrowers, Hillian. <laughs> it took a second. Yeah, that was totally where I was <laughs> aiming for. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I, I actually just stopped up and stared at, at your avatar in disbelief that you remembered it. <laughs> like, my memory is shoddy, but there is a good amount of things that I can still fish out of nowhere. Yeah, that surprised me. And what the heck are these? Look like a sort of panther. The the all of panthers in Africa. There we go. Uh, the Egyptians well, imported beasts from all over the place, so. Hmm. I guess the. I think tigers and lions are part of the panthera family, hence why they can crossbreed. Yeah, you can get ligers like that, who which are. Uh, completely infertile, I believe, as in yeah. they can't actually breed any further. Uh, almost right. The, one of the, 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 there's two different ones, depending who the parent is. I forgot, uh -huh. One of them can breed. Okay, I, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Yeah. Uh, wait. I know what these are. Hmm? Do I... The, these are black lions. Okay, can't say I've ever heard of those before. Well, mostly because I see that it's a clear lion. The only rare occasion where a lion is born with a... I don't know... Is it like albino, but... Well, I don't know if my... I mean, I've already nice. long since self-admitted that my history is bullshit, that my knowledge of history is kind of shit, but... Did Cleopatra and Julius Caesar have a thing? So I guess it would be easy for her to, you know, get some of get some stuff imported from Rome. Yeah, she was yeah. With, she was with uh, Caesar and uh, I forget the specific name. And I am the typing of his first name, but Marcus or Marco and Zulio or something. Uh, I'm totally sorry, but, but Caesar and one of his generals? Or someone else's general? 
Yeah, someone who was blamed. I'm not sure if he was actually part of the uh, of the uh, conspiracy that ended up murdering Caesar or not, but he was definitely giving blame for that or part of it, uh, which is why he well he he fucked off to Egypt and another uh, ones. Um, I believe supposedly. I don't think it was Caesar's kid, but his successor or something. He had adopted him, I believe. Uh, yeah, he came on after them and, well, <laughs> slaughtered a bunch of them. Oh dear. Uh, would probably I mean, be pretty easy to look up. I think mean, the only reason I remember the general is. Thanks to Dante's Inferno. Marco, no. I, I keep blanking on the latter half, but I think it was Marcus Antonio. Or Antonius? Or and I something. Think it was Antonius. Okay. We grab onto here. And, and also, we, we will not stream Dante's Inferno, would we? Uh, probably not. It, it is. It was. Mm, it was a thing, certainly, and I really don't think we can make this jump. There's but my more concern is, like, it is, a, it is a decent game. Probably is... Uh, it's... Uh, yeah. How to say this? It was more interesting than actual quality. It was more of an interesting take. It, oh! It, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it's a very big R rating. Yeah. Like <laughs> one of their one of their freaking ads was just showing the game to a bunch of uh, <laughs> old moms and showing their reactions. That's oh true. yeah. No uh, Dante's Inferno. Uh, okay, I'm I'm being they stupid did the with same something. thing with Dead Space too. Oh, I think I see you. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it when game companies do like that, that they show it to someone's parent that just to shock value. Just, I feel like, just show the gameplay and such. Don't, don't overdo it. Have I yeah. watched some reviews and history by, I think it was Mac Muscle, uh, the guy that usually portrays himself as a blue skeleton with a beanie. Yeah, Matt right, Fake is the the beanie. What? <laughs> the guy with the Punisher beanie. Well, just the regular beanie nose. But yeah, yeah. And he showed it. He, I think he talked about it and brought off the commercial thing they were doing for Dungeon Inferno, which did not reach Sweden, luckily enough. But after I heard the, the ad campaigns that we were doing, I just felt Ryan who Hart. is behind this. Ideas. Someone should be fired. <laughs> Part is that usually the person that came up with the worst idea is the one that gets the promotion. Yeah, it's it's uh... easier to promote them away than it is to fire them, but then they become someone else's problem. And somehow they wind up going so far up the ladder because someone's trying to get rid of them, but that they now are the ones running the shit show. I would not be surprised oh, at all if that is the origin story of basically every asshole CEO in gaming at the moment. Just, uh, we gotta get rid of this guy, but we can't fire him. Fuck him, promote, fuck it, promote him to like a different branch. And this goes on and on and on and... Ah, crap, he's the CEO now. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, that's a scenario. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, th well, that I looks think that makes it. Uh, uh, I was gonna say that <laughs> looks <laughs> surprisingly not. <laughs> uh, 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 um, never mind. Yeah, you can see how fast these bastards can be. Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. You galloping. want to be included? Nope. Can he actually go into the water? That's just really funny is that he should not be this fast on land. Oh, they will. They, they can be faster than this on land. Actually, wait, what is this thing? I think it's a croc. It would probably okay. be a Nile crocodile. Yeah, I was thinking a 
crocodile or an alligator, but I know one of those is actually a lot slower on land than on the water. Oh, I think, oh no, yeah, I, I think crocodiles is the ones that can gallop. Which means these ones will be fast, probably stay. They will not be running like this. They will be galloping, as it will be called. Yeah, <laughs> pushing their bodies up higher. And I, yeah, I think it's the, I think I'm remembering some imagery now. And it, it is the alligators who have the, the, the lots more narrow snout or something. You, that's the, typically the stuff you find in Florida, I'm thinking, or something. The alligators is Florida in alligators. Florida. Yeah. Alligators in Florida, the Nile had crocodiles. And crocodiles had a bit more longer and somewhat narrower, means alligators had more flat and broad. Yeah. And, yeah, this is clearly Bustet's... Uh, domain here can you say that again bastet most people Much better. most place it's shadow it's shortened to bast but i think the full yeah. name is bastet and sometimes you even have st stuff before and after and i'll stop interrupting you now it, it, it sounds like you're trying to say busted and bust several times like you replace it in a with a U. <laughs> that, that, that's what i'm reacting to Okay, let's pull this. And I, I'm not criticizing. I just find it a little bit funny that he, that it sounds like he's. Uh, I don't know if he is butching or not. I don't know if it's just, it's just the mic tricking me that he to hear he's saying something else, or or accents or break that. Now you have to open course. it and then immediately go for it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Similarly, you you often say things in the odd world that almost has <laughs> makes me chuckle. Uh, oh. Though I'm forgetting the, I'm forgetting the one that's been mo the most common recently. I think you did say it in like the previous stream or something. Yeah, it's okay. a, I did butcher something that I actually noticed. I was about to butcher. What was it, it, it again? Was one of, it was one of the ing words. Like yeah, I, I, sounds I similar to, say, to shipping. Yeah, I want to say English. I mean, if you supposed to say English or something. Ooh, ooh, but... uh, it's up on YouTube, so we probably would notice that the, the, there. And I do know there are some words I struggle with, like Inquisition. I'm yeah, I think you actually got it once. perfect there at the time. Yeah, but normally when I try to do the Spanish Inquisition... Inquisition? Yeah, apparently I can't say it, it when I put Spanish first. Inquisition. Right? Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Guess nobody <What>? did it. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh... Yeah, I don't expect why. Uh, why do I push it whenever I try to do a Monty Python reference? Uh, probably because your throat or tongue is already still in, is still in the movement of the uh, first word or word somewhat. That would that, make sense. Whole... I was pondering that. Uh, sorry, one. Uh, that, that's the whole thing with those say this uh, five times fast or something because you're you're saying it so fast that the movements of uh, your tongue and such are just uh, starting getting in the way of the next one. Oh yeah, I was fucking starting to ponder that as I spoke earlier yeah, that uh, I wanted to sort of think to myself, is this something happening with my tongue when I say it's Spanish? So you, you really onto something here. Twisters. Sorry, what? And that's where they call it tongue twisters, I think. Ah. Huh. I thought that would count as a tongue twister. I guess you're right. Okay, so we have a box. What do we do with the box? I'm guessing we're not supposed to throw it down because there's little ledges here to stop it. Yep. And like I said earlier, they do stop at the slightest bump. So we have to move it across, I'm guessing. It's the only logical place yeah. we can send this thing. Also, I will say this. I think we all can agree, without a question, that this is made of rock. Yeah, yes. so the, the grinding sound makes sense here. 
Yeah. Wait. It has wood on as legs. Yeah. Let's see. Can we make this now? Yes, we can. Oh dear. Okay, it immediately starts retreating. This must be some sort of pressure plate built into these things. Like the moment we step on, it starts to move, pull in. Hey ma'am, I'm gonna go into Borderlands 3 for a second. Hmm? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, bit obvious correction from the game there, but <laughs> appreciate it because we would have fallen down otherwise. Okay, um... Okay. Simple one-two punch puzzle. <clears throat> we first need to open up the gate by swinging from it. And then we need to open it. Then we a simple <laughs> moment, her shadow. Shadow appearing, then disappearing. You feel that swan dive. And now we need to move that stupid thing again. Okay. Oh dear. Um, can we just turn it? No. <clears throat> now I think about the crocs, I, like, I cannot hope that some game will display the crocodile gallop. So I think it's one of those things that I don't think many people know a crocodile can do. Yeah. I'm, actually, I think most people, when presented with it, wouldn't actually believe it until they saw <clears throat> live footage. And hello there in the chat, Mikra123. Welcome to the chat. Oh. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, Thank you for the follow. Oh. Was that the second thing Thank I heard? You. Uh, was right? that just an I think I heard the sound twice there for some reason. Yeah, it's uh, it twice indeed. Okay, might be something with the the scene stuff or something since it's all new and such. But uh, yeah, thank you for the follow and <laughs> hope you're enjoying the show. This is oops, the same mistake as before, apparently. Oh, we need... oh love off. Okay, I think I just need to I need to go across from there. I, I was thinking we needed to just do a wall run to pull it down. Apparently not. But uh, yeah, this is Tomb Raider Anniversary, the 2000 something, 2006 or 2009 remake of the original Tomb Raider, with, well, a lot better graphics, as you can see. Okay, you know, uh, yeah, this this is a fun game, even if it has a bit of janky stuff <laughs> these days, well, even back in the day. <clears throat> okay, you've played it yourself. Uh, what did you think of it? Uh, please no spoilers, because as though I have played through this game before, Drakir has not. So uh, all of I this seen, is fresh for him. I seen a little bit of Let's Play long ago, but they caught out so much that I've, I actually just gave up watching it, so I don't know how it ends and all that. Okay. Let's see. Basically, a little bit weird there. I think I, think I, I only saw until last level. Like, so this is entirely new territory for me. Okay. Uh, this way now. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now we do this. And... Okay. So <laughs> both ways fails? What? Okay, this is. I'm guessing this is the physics engine being a bit janky again. Okay, line this dumb thing up. Just line it up. It's wedged itself. Okay, let's see. Okay, Germany. I know. I know a good few people in Germany. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands myself. So hello, neighbor. <laughs> Sweet myself, but I have a few Germans in my day. Let's see. Why are these two ledges here? I 
can't really tell what those are for. Maybe... Actually, no, I have no freaking idea. Uh, I can see that the adjustments I made to chat are working. In that the text messages vanish after a minute or two. I believe actually yeah, exactly two minutes. It does stay up uh, quite a good time uh, for, uh, so for us to notice it. Yeah. And, well, the text is all readable and such. Like, for some reason, the... the it's, it doesn't even come up. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? I'm, there's only two options, and both of them just lead to Laura falling to her death. Actually, is that... Hmm. Okay, a, a checkpoint at the top here would have been nice, but I think I'm just being an idiot in part of this. Uh, yeah, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you're doing well, Mikra. Uh, uh, life is a bit difficult these days, but yeah. Hoping that it's not getting anyone too down, at least. I've got some vacation days that I've taken, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, on, the game seems to be working relatively well. Okay. Ooh. And welcome back, Rom. Welcome back, Rom. Yeah, I think I gotta stay in Borderlands 3. I just wanted to, you know, start it up so I didn't have to, like, you know, have to go through the process of the whole thing starting up at first. Yeah. yeah that, it can often be a bit an annoyance with games well, when they have unskippable. <clears throat> <clears throat> When they have unskippable intros and such, and... Okay, I think you made the game... I'm guessing you meant to put Glitch after that? Mikra? Let's see... Actually... Is that thing locked up or something? Or blocked, maybe? Let's see, you good player, I think? I would call myself, at the very least, decent at this game. I'm hardly an expert. If anyone would be an expert, you'd probably need. Uh, you could probably better go look for Dogged Dog like my dog, a VTuber who, uh, from what I've seen, only streams Tomb Raider stuff. For God. Okay. Uh, no. Really okay, so when else. I was talking about fear, I forgot about one very, really kind of annoying but important thing. Oh? You cannot buy the fear games individually. Okay, what Unless am I missing here? Unless it's GOG. No, but in Steam, you have to buy them like a pack, like the whole thing, like Fear 1 and its expansions, Fear 2 and its DLC, and then Fear 3. I don't know why they did that, they just did that. Licensing bullshit, probably. Yeah, maybe. It's the same reason why you can't, uh, you absolutely cannot buy any, you know, some games anywhere at all. Like the, uh, the War for, <clears throat> War for Cybertron and the uh, Fall of Cybertron of the Transformers games. You, you cannot get those anywhere unless you're going onto uh, the black markets or pirating it somehow. Oh yeah, a friend talked about that the other day, he was pissed. But he was still able to play it due to he had it had it on his uh, Xbox account since he already paid for it, so he could uh, play it. But he was a bit pissed that uh, he was no longer on Steam and such. Yeah, and that he no longer can play games. multiplayer either. Okay. Seriously, what am I missing now? I'm going to try one more time, then I'm going to look up a quick video as to what the hell is going on. Yeah, we, we only do the video checking if we've been stuck on a thing for a while. Okay. Or it, in it, 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 mm. Hillan's case, dropped a few times. So, YouTube time. Yep, because the, yeah. it's not letting us grapple on at all. Let's see. Uh, if there's something very good about YouTube, over there's so many years, I'm actually surprised over how many years it's been around. It's, it has, in many ways, helped gaming. 
Uh, okay, that's the intro. Skipping. So some people can look up walkthroughs. Yeah, post people have to call the company for help. Okay, this is the room. Now just gotta skip ahead. There we go. Okay, the box. Move the box aside over. Jump up. Okay. So have you ever played Half Life? Uh, I've played I've seen it. some of I've the not played first. it. Sorry, what? Oh, really freaking Okay, it was what I tried at first. And then uh, failed because logic. What was it? Uh, yeah, we need to get up there and then grapple that thing whilst we're standing to pull it open. Instead of what I thought, we have to grapple it to well, pull it, to grapple it whilst we're in the air to pull it open. But I'm pretty sure I tried that and instead it tried to grab onto the first one. Uh, oh dear. Physics jank. Okay. Get to move on, stupid thing. But yeah, the, the platforming in these games can be a bit annoying. At least we, at least we didn't need to. F <laughs> at least it's not glitched or anything. Okay. Every time you say something like that, you're, it's like you're just tempting fate. Yeah. Okay. Enough of that, though. Let's just climb up, do the thing, and get through here. We've got two pieces of the Scion. We need one more. Uh, I do not get at all why she just doesn't grab on there sometimes. Like, again there. She has comp it is fully within her reach to grab it. Uh, because sometimes the game doesn't detect it. There we go. It's, it was... It was both times when she tried to learn, uh, tried to reach out to grab the service here. Maybe that's... Maybe there's a sort of cooldown or something. It, never mind, because she definitely could have grabbed there again. Uh, yeah, it is an old game and some parts of this, especially games with old physics engines, just do not age, or do not age well. Yeah, I think this is one of the things that may be very cautious when I play games if they have a lot of these jumping puzzles. Uh, we're playing the PC version, so there's not really an X button. Well, there is an X button, but not that X button. So, uh, very. Okay, now this is just getting really annoying. Okay, up. Immediately jump. And there we go. Okay. Thanks for the thanks for the suggestion still, but <laughs> okay. Really? This is it is supposed to grab on to let us pull it. We can't go any closer. Okay, let me check here again. Climbs up. And yeah, just grapple and pull. So why is it not working here? Yeah, I'm playing without a controller. I'm using keyboard and mouse. Actually, can I activate the controller for it to listen to that now? Yes, I can. Okay. But even then, this still doesn't work. Oh. Okay. Is it? Okay, something Maybe is you're going on to be with on this. The other side. Yeah, but we we can't grapple through this, and it's too far away. Okay, I think the game. No. I mean, like, okay, go through those, but grab. No way. There's no way to get there. 
I think this is the... I think this might be the engine just screwing around. And one more for the bug highlight reel. But if it if it won't connect here, that means we'll be we can't progress. It would mean we're stuck. We're gonna have to reset. It, are we gonna need to look up on PC gaming? Uh, I I looked around on there and it didn't give it didn't note any major glitches or anything. Hmm. Not really sure why I tried that for me. Yeah, second thing. Mm. Anybody want to buy the uh, full Batman Arkham? You can, because it's on sale. Hmm. Yeah, the stream list. Let's see. First jump, then. Okay, I've tried that. It, at least twice before, it it won't register as a grappling point uh, for while we're airborne. And the video that I'm yeah. seeing here is very clearly that Laura is standing over here while I was doing it. Let's see. Really? Oh, yeah. Hey, try pulling. It, it grappled onto something. Is is that really just how we're going to trick this thing by looking away? Apparently. But it's grabbing onto the wrong part. Wait, wait. I got an idea. I got an idea. It. Okay, so try grappling to the wrong one, then. climbing into it? Like swinging towards it? Mm, don't yeah, think. Okay, so. Some something is screwing around in the physics engine here, I'd say. If we look away, it grapples it at the wrong point. Maybe... Okay, I tried to spin around quickly there. Uh, it's just grabbing on wrong. Let's see. Make a save. See if a load will dislodge it somehow. Uh, that puts us back here, not at the last checkpoint. Nope, uh, I don't find it. Uh, nope, I can't find uh, anything. No PC game and wiki hmm. about this one specific bug. Yeah, maybe, you maybe know, a we'll... reload there will have dislodged it. Otherwise, yeah, I'll have to see what the hell to do about this then. Huh. Yeah, it, it'd be a shame you had to abandon this so early on. Like Maybe if we run the game through compatibility modes, it'll be more stable. Maybe. You're not running anything. Seriously, Hill, you not. When a game is running stable like a... normally, the game needs need... to run. Yeah, it was decently with some um, exceptions. So is how the hell does that plate know to retract when someone gets on it? Yeah, I'm guessing there's a pressure plate hidden behind it somehow. Like, it gets tipped ever so slightly and the thing just sets off a mechanism. Okay. Yeah, we've got some minor stuff happening here and there, like the camera going. Yeah, that, that, that is not the that's not the solution. I'll show it here. It doesn't even make it a grapple point. It 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 intentionally leads to be pulled. Hmm. Like you don't use it as a grapple. You just like hold on to it. But you like yeah, stay on it, and I don't know. Let Lara's weight just pull it down. 
Yeah, that, that is what I tried earlier as well, but that also didn't work. Okay, so we're stuck then. It looks like. Hmm. Yep. Why are we... Keep that thing going. Yeah. The combatability mode sounds like a good idea. Let's give it one last shot to see if... Hmm. It could be that the glitch is with the checkpoint as well or something. One last try, then I'll just restart the game quickly in compatibility mode for... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what... I don't remember what uh, operating system was out during this time. Probably Windows 7, try that. I mean... I don't think I ran into this bug when I played the game on Windows 7. I, def I definitely didn't run into this bug any time before as well. Also, somebody made a Waffle this, I... House in hell in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's change up this search a bit. Tomb Raider. Anniversary. Grapple. Glitch. Mm. With Egypt also might as well be more specific because there's probably because who knows maybe somebody else also got a glitch but in a different area. Oh, his hmm? second video is actually exactly this uh, thing. So let's see. Of course, there's a fucking ad. Like I'm, I get the feeling that YouTube is now just monetizing every video, even if you uh, said it not to be. Let's see. Just have. Ad block. Yeah, we can't. Don't have enough that on my phone. Let's see. Yeah. Can't, not connecting. Grapple won't hook. Wait, manual aim. There's. What? Options menu, I guess. Okay. I think the ability to actually manually aim the rope might have actually broken Hillian a bit because I actually don't remember that being a thing. Uh, of course, of it's course dead. that's a thing. Why? I don't think the game ever actually mentions that there is a manual aim. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit I kinda of dislike when game does not mention a special function. Okay. Try it. Maybe it'll work. Yep. Okay, now it's grabbed onto too low. But that was because I exited too early. There we go. Okay. I nope. jump before it gets Stay down, low. motherfucker. <laughs> oh, dear God. Hallelujah, with time to spare! Yeah, because we're almost at the end of our stream time. That at the very this least we freaking solved it. At uh, this point, this isn't yeah. part of the highlight reel, this is just... Speaking of the highlight reel... Hopeful! <laughs> this is now just like... We might as well just clip this whole cluster, this whole mess. Probably, uh, and also, for a moment of what Helio just wasted all that effort. Uh, we wait. <laughs> Thank you, um, yeah, Mikra. Of Mikra. <clears throat> uh. Just, okay. just have regular uh. ass staircase. You don't need to have this shit, people. Let's deal with the, the handbags before we go down. One of them and the other's out of range. Okay. Well, you have kill aim. Uh, it's more range of the gun than the... it could lock on, but not get. Yeah. When it's grayed out, that you don't have a good chance of hitting. You can still hit, but it's yeah, very worse. reduced. Okay. Let's at least get as much progress still as we have remaining. Please, one minute. 
the end of time we have remaining. I'm so annoyed that my grammar is failing me even more than usual. Okay. Oh, hello, kitty. And there's a second. Yep. And it's just a... Let's test this out, actually. So we can get their attention. Wait, is it too low? Yes, it's actually too low for us to reach. And that's the stream timer, so let's keep going until the next checkpoint. I have been able to aim... ...on a first and third person shooter. Come on. What the... Okay, is that the second, the first one? Or, no, there's, there's just multiple cats. Medusa Lions! Yep, this again. Let go. There we go. And a checkpoint. Yep. Okay. So... As annoying as all of that was, and I'm going to overwrite this one just out of spite now. Uh, yeah. Let's go quit the game. And once again, the background is different. That, that, that is something that I just really like with uh, some adventure games like this. Uh, yeah. As nice as the music is, let's move on over here. Give that a moment to catch up. And yeah, Ram is still here. He was missing from yeah. the scene before. Okay. Uh, but before we end off the stream, of course, let's go see if there is someone to raid. Okay. First I off, want to raid Rome's fridge. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Have you bought a new fridge yet? Uh, yeah. We've seen the prices and we're going to call up dad who said, fine, I'll buy the new fridge. Just tell me what you, just show me the prices. So we're, okay. I don't know, a week. Let's see. Okay. Screen share change to this. And let's see, there's a lot of people online at the moment, it seems. Uh, Wumble. Hmm? <laughs> Wumble is on. I, I'm really hoping they, they're they going to do a Valheim shenanig or bullshittery. Yeah, bullshittery it was uh, of this. <clears throat> uh, let's we, see. We have... Okay, on, okay. We, have, we have show more. Let's see. We have Casco Zook who is, and Karen A, who are both streaming Wild Hearts. I, I thought it actually was a remake or something, but no, it's an entirely new game, apparently. Uh, Sour Walrus is streaming Fallout 4, and Doggett Douglas McDog, Doggett Douglas McDog, is continuing with their charity stream and is currently on Ray, uh, not Ray Met, <laughs> Tomb Raider 3: Adventures of Lara Croft. Uh, next up, we have Kiri Natsuyoko who is streaming Metroid Prime. Doesn't say if that's the new version or not. Uh, WBPL, uh, WBPL76 is streaming Final Fantasy IV. And similarly, Ruffy Raccoon is streaming Final Fantasy X. Then we have... Okay, K9 is streaming Metroid Prime Remastered. So, Kiri is streaming the old version. Uh, the Lazy General is streaming Dwarf Fortress. Big V Streams is streaming Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls Three. And Horatius the Dwarf is just chatting at the moment. A psychology Open House. Okay. I think we've seen them do that before. Um, let me actually... Uh, oh, wait. That's part of the... Is that part of the background? Or... No. that. Okay. With the white text, it was a bit harder to read. Uh, let's see. Any of those sound interesting to read? Or shall we just jump to the other Tomb Raider player? I'm actually just tired. You guys pick one. I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay. Rest well. Rest, <clears throat> rest well, Rum. And you thank you for being too. here, of course. You're welcome. Later. Be safe. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see here. I, I'm kind of curious about these wild hearts, but I'll leave it up to you as usual. Uh, either Karenai or... Canai, the uh, canai. 
Okay, so Metroid Prime or Wild Hearts. So let's go for Wild Hearts then. There, let me double check that the place is muted so we don't catch any of their audio. Okay. And wait, are they? Okay, they're they are pre yet. they are on the pre-stream. Okay. <laughs> uh let's see. Copy over the name. And then we head to our place. Go here. And slash raid paste. But before we start that, of course, because we tend to <laughs> we tend to chatter on a bit. Uh <clears throat> thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh Thank you, uh, Mikra123, for well watching and for the follow. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy any future ones as well. And thank you, Rom. Uh, <clears throat> even though he just left, uh, he is still all appreciated every time. Because, well, he's a friend. And it's he <laughs> lives over in Peru. So it's like uh, 11 a.m. for him at the moment. <clears throat> And of course, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, let's start the raid. I want to try another stream today. I haven't managed to do any double, uh, many double streams uh, since I started the vacation. Maybe that's my body telling me, "Hey, go the fuck to sleep." Uh, but yeah, if we, if I manage to stay awake long enough to actually do a second stream today. We will be doing serial cleaners again, since, well, we hit our quota with our typical main two games. But, yeah, I'm not really feeling up for Valheim or Minecraft. So, yeah, let, we, we can do that. Uh, tomorrow we'll have Showcase Sunday, where we'll be trying out some games to see if they're any good or not. Or, actually, is it? It was, yeah, it was Friday yesterday, it's Saturday. You, so freaking it's easy Saturday. to lose track of time. <clears throat> But yeah, oh, we'll dear. have Showcase Sunday tomorrow, try out some games, and we'll see if where there's anything for the evening. Maybe some Slime yeah. Rancher. Yeah, we'll just yes, Slime Rancher for... That is very relaxing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, unt be <clears throat> until then, though, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then... Be safe, everyone, and watch out for the galloping crocodiles. Also, high potato. Wait, what? Oh!